Hey, this is Christine Thompson, lead agent on the CT team. Wanted to throw out a little bit of a data or factual information to you. So you are aware of what's going on. I'm making this recording at the time of February 2022. And I came across a couple of very interesting graphs. So I'm actually going to just screen share them with you. Who wants to look at me when you can look at exciting graphs, right? So I'm going to share this with you. I think it's really important for you to see that um, this first graph I found, and you can see the sources for it. This is talking about what the experts project, project for home price increases in 2022. So for all of you buyers out there saying, I'm going to wait until later in the year, hoping that prices will go down, eh, doesn't look like it's happening. And I'm going to tell you, the ex all these experts here, they were the ones that predicted the big bubble burst in early 2000s, okay, around 2008. All right. So I rely on these people. They've been pretty true every time they make a prediction. So I really hope you pay attention to this. Prices are not going down in 2022. They're going to go up. All right. So if you make an offer now and have to go over list, it's probably still going to be a better price than if you had to go over list at the end of the year, you're gonna be paying more for that same house. So this is a great graph to be looking at. I like it. This is fun to look at too. Check this out. This is the whole United States. We got even Hawaii and Alaska in there. And this is showing per state how much uh, equity gain there was for sellers. So Illinois, if you're in Illinois, 24,000 in a year. All right, in 2021, they gained 20K. 21K in equity. So whatever state you you live in, check this map out. You can see how much equity you probably gain in a year on your home. California, 116. That does not surprise me when I hear how homes were going well over 100,000 over asking price. And the national average was 51,500. Phenomenal year. Phenomenal year. And looking at that graph that I just showed you before, it's showing it's still going to keep ticking up. Are we going to have the average of 51,000? I don't know, but it's certainly nothing here between these two graphs is indicating that prices are going to go down. Well, you might be thinking, yeah, well, maybe not 2022, but maybe well, when we get to 2023, this just can't keep lasting. Let's take a look at what the industry experts think going forward into the years. So potential home price growth over the next five years. Same house right now or in 2021, that was 350. If you're going to wait another five years, you might be looking at that same house for another $110,000 more, or to be more exact, $111,285. So I don't think you're going to be saving money by waiting to buy your house in another year or two. Rates are going up. Prices are going up. Again, these are by industry experts that are very, very reliable, you guys. Please pay attention to this. Don't put yourself on the sideline. Unless you've got other logistical reasons that just are preventing you from getting out there and buying a home. And, but if there's nothing preventing you from buying a home, if, you, if you, you got good enough credit to get a loan or you got the cash to buy a house, make the move. It's going to be way cheaper than if you wait even six months from now. So I appreciate you watching that. Thanks for letting me share the video or the screen with you. Hope I didn't bore you too much with those visuals, but the information they're providing is super, super interesting. At least to me, it is. So be sure to share this with other people. If you're watching this, share it. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get notifications when I'm posting more information out there that could be very, very useful to you or someone you know uh, when you are pondering any aspect of real estate, whether to buy, sell, maybe get an investment property, it's all out there. Okay, I'm putting it out there and I'm not holding back on information and uh, I'm not skewing any information either. So you're getting it straight from the horse's mouth, true information. Stop reading the magazines and newspapers. All right, you guys. So again, my name is Christine Thompson, lead agent on the CT team. Thank you for watching this. Thank yourself for watching it because you are deciding to make informed decisions. So you know how to act going forward. Good for you. Uh, so again, my YouTube channel to subscribe to is Naperville Living in Naperville with Christine Thompson. Be sure to subscribe, share it with other people. 
You got my phone number here right on the screen. That is actually my direct number to my cell phone. You can call or text. Feel free to email me. Feel free to send a private DM. I don't care. Just reach out if you have questions. Maybe you need additional information. I will dig it up for you and I'll get it to you if I don't have it off the top of my head. Okay. Thanks for watching. And I really hope to hear from you. Thanks so much. Take care.